Hi yeah, I hope everyone is well. I do apologise for not updating sooner. I've um, just been busy um, and I've not really bothered with YouTube that much. But I did say that I wanted to do a like a two and a half year update. Um, it's about two years, five months-ish. Um, so I thought I'll do it now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything later on. So I thought I'll do an update now um, on my update. And it's going to be a theme of what I expected and what I actually got. Like expectation versus reality. One of the things that I've noticed is my hair texture. Um, it's always been thick. I've always had thick hair. But when I stopped colouring my hair, it got really thick. Not like coarse, but like just really thick and so soft. Oh my word, my hair is so soft. Um, probably too soft that I can't do anything with it. I can stick a load of product on if I need to, but I don't really do anything with it. At the moment, it's so warm, it just gets put in a ponytail um, or in a bun or something. Um, I try, it's just so thick and hot around the back of my neck. Um, but as a downside, I have a billion flyaways so I end up spraying that with hairspray or putting a putty down but to be honest with you my hair has a mind of its own it'll make its own way and I will then like especially around this I can't do anything with it but yeah it's nice and lovely and soft but it has a mind of its own another thing is since I have transitioned I have to make more of an effort with makeup um I never really bothered every day with makeup if I didn't need to. I felt like I could carry it off, um, but not anymore. And the thing is, I love makeup, but we just don't get on. I'm really rubbish at it. I've had expensive to cheap makeups, all different types from liquid to mousses to um, the powdered ones, um, like the mineral ones. The mineral ones are probably the best that I can work with on my skin. But yeah, I have had to learn makeup all over again. I've watched a lot of tutorials, I've read a lot of articles, but yeah, since I've transitioned, I've had to take a lot more extra care with my skin tones. I now use blusher and highlighters and fixing sprays and yeah, that was an education. Um, I don't really do that much with the eyes apart from mascara, just mainly because I'm not great at it yet. Um, and I don't do anything with the eyebrows because again, you're either good at it or you're really bad at it. And they're all right, I'll leave them the way they are. I'm okay with it. But yes, since I've transitioned, I have to make more of an effort with makeup. <laughs> I've also noticed that I can carry off more colors than I used to. In fact, it's probably more I can wear colours I never used to, but there might be colours I'm not supposed to wear them anymore. They might just not complement. I just don't know what them ones are, but I do know I can wear like reds, which I never used to, um, and black. I never used to wear black because I, I, because I'm quite pale. I always felt it washed me out. Whereas now, I, yeah, I can wear black. What goes with the hair? I can wear it. So that's great. <laughs> um. I have changed my outlook on fashion. I don't always just impulse buy it anymore. I do tend to just stick with like very plain type things. But yeah, I if I see something go, oh, I quite like that, I'll stop and think, can I get it off? I mean, obviously there's the, the weight issue as well, but I do look at things and go, no, I, I'm not sure, I'm not convinced, I won't bother. <laughs> One of the things I expected when I grew my hair long, when it was all transitioned, was it was going to look lovely, it was going to look like um, Annika von Holt or Sarah Harris, it was going to be, yeah, I was going to have all this long hair. I mean, to be fair, I'd be lucky if I got an extra six inches out of this. My hair doesn't really grow long, even if I stopped cutting it, it just kind of breaks off and just doesn't really get past there sort of thing. So. I look at it now and it is nice, I'm not going to lie, I quite like it, it's just I don't know if that's what I want anymore. As I've gone along, things have changed and I think partly I've changed, there's this liberation that you have when you do start colouring your hair and 
I look at it and think, is long hair really what I want anymore? I'm not sure. The issue I have is, yes, I am in hair limbo, but I'm not going to just go and cut my hair and do this and do that for a number of reasons. One, not that trendy. Um, I have my own style and, you know, having like all these mad hairstyles, it might not be for me, you know. Um, so that's one reason. The next reason is finding a hairdresser that will actually do what I want. I've gone to hairdressers before and I've said, this is the picture that I'd like, could you do that for me? And they never do it. Never. Or they don't cut it straight. Last time I had my hair cut, it wasn't cut straight. So it's a it's a tough situation that I'm in to find someone to do what I want instead of what they want. Or I'd rather somebody just said, you know what, I can't do that. Instead of, they've took me money, I'm really unhappy with it and I've got to deal with it and live with it. So the expectation and reality on that one is certainly a kicker because yeah, my hair's really nice, I like the way it is, I just don't know if it's what I want anymore and it wasn't, it's not going to look like theirs, I know it's not, but for me I just don't know if this is what I want now, it's changed. But I, I am very pleased I stopped colouring my hair, um, I'm not going to I say this, I'm not going to colour my hair permanently again, um, but I have recently just got like a like a temporary colour to rinse through to Orchid Peach by uh, Bleach London. I'm just going to mix it with some conditioner, leave that on and you know just, just you can still do things, um, you know it's, it's, it's not hopefully permanent, oh my word I'd hate it if it stained it but you know what if it does I'll live with it and I'll grow it out if I have to but yeah I'm not permanently colouring my hair no more where I have to touch up the roots and do all that no them days are definitely gone but a bit of like coloured shampoos to rinse through give her a bit of funkiness that yeah that, that's me I'll do that some people's relationship with their hair is like oh my god I love my grey hair and I like mine I'm just not in love with it you know it's I like it, but, and I'm happy with it, but that's about as far as it goes at this moment in time, and I think it's because I'm in hair limbo, if I was to be honest. I don't think it's because there's something about it I don't like, it's just I'm in hair limbo because I don't know what to do with it yet, but maybe if I said, you know what, I'm going to have these beachy wavy things or whatever I have done to it and be like, oh my god, I love it so much, but until that time, yeah, I'm happy with my hair. It was the right decision to do, to stop colouring it. I'm happy where I am. I just don't love it. <laughs> but anyways, it might change. But thank you for watching anyway. Um, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like. And I will not leave it so long next time. 